G'day YouTube. So, one really cool thing about YouTube is if you just jump in the comments section and comment something along the lines of, hey, you got any updates on this product? Or, hey, make a video about such and such. There's a good chance I'll probably do that. So, that being said, what I'm going to do tonight, make a video about the Power Genius uh, T610, which is a 120 watt Power Genius. So what can I tell you about it? First thing I can tell you about it is I've been using it quite a bit. What I've been using it for is uh, bringing back LiPo cells in 18 volt Milwaukee batteries that are a bit sad or whatever. But uh, that's what I've just done here. So I've brought one up, 1265 milliamp hours. I really like its telemetry. I really like its touchscreen functionality. That is actually really cool. Hopefully it, yeah, it looks pretty good. We've got a pretty good view of um, the extra screen. So let's go through some settings first and show you what we can change. So you've got plus and minuses in the middle, which I'll allow you to pick. So you can turn the backlighting up. Things like that. Let me skip to the next one. Input cut off, so this one cuts off at 10 volts, so if the input's struggling. External temperature controls, 80 degrees, it'll shut off the inside of the machine. Cycle delay 5 minutes, so that means it'll probably stop for 5 minutes in between. Charging power, so let's have a look at that. that one. So you can turn it up and down. To limit its output all the way down to 50 watts. Um, it's got pretty good fan cooling, so that's not really a necessity. I've actually only changed that one. Oh, I don't know what it was. So you can load factory defaults and stuff as well. I guess that's the settings. Okay, we've got this tab here which is for monitoring, which will tell you the input. The battery voltage, so it's sitting at 4.10 on the uh, little Milwaukee battery next to me here. Internal and external temperature. It's got a little temperature port down this bottom corner here. It allows you to do that. If you've got um, the leads connected like it is now, it'll tell you the voltage. It tells you the internal resistance of the cells. Very cool. Um, a few different testers out there do that on the market, but this one's uh, quite smart. And the voltage sensitivity is quite amazing because that's actually doing a little bit of moving around. Turn the LEDs on for the test, it goes up and down. So yeah, quite, quite sensitive. Click the balance tab. Oh, balance port not connected. Of course it's not, I'm only doing one S. So in the extra mode, you can use this as a digital DC power supply. So when you do that, you can pick the wattage, you can pick the amperage, you can put the vol pick the voltage, and you can have a safety timer. So say you want to run something for 20 minutes, you set it for 20 minutes, you set its maximum output at 2 amps, 12 volts, whatever. And there it goes. It's got a servo test. So you can actually test servo motors. And a voltage calibrate, so you can actually adjust the voltage of all of the balance ports including the main leads not necessary it's quite accurate um, memory settings it remembers whatever you've done last it remembers your last one automatically um, so if you forget what you did last you can check it and it will tell you what you've done last um, if I haven't said this already you buy one of these off banggood.com I'll leave a link in the top of the video description I'll get a little kickback and uh, means I can buy things like this with my own money and test them extremely fairly. Um, before we go into actually running it, I'll show you what I'm using to power mine. You can use uh, multiple different sources, but I've got this 12 volt 7 amp power converter from a CCTV kit. It's the perfect 5 millimeter DC input plug, so naturally I just plugged it in and away it worked. The way you want it to be. So I'm just going to move some leads around. 
you can hear my neighbour's dog, you'll know that, that I want to kill it. Okay, lead swapped. And we're back to seeing what's going on. So the last battery was 4.10 volts. We'll go to monitor and see what this one says. It's going to go 3.7 volts in it, so as you can see it needs a boost. we go battery, we go LiPo. So, no, let's talk about that. LiPo, lithium high voltage, lithium LIFE, lithium on batteries. And get charge. And then we're 1S, pick a current, and go up a bit and we'll go up to 5 amps. Oh, no, we're in there. You've got to look at what the screen's doing, because otherwise you just start. 5 amps. You can save a memory. I should actually do that because it'd be convenient for what I normally do. As you see, it checks it. Battery voltage lower. Okay. It doesn't like that. No, oh, it's still on 3S. Silly. 1S. More amps. Line the amps up. Yeah, the only way you could make this thing better is if it had regenerative discharge, because it doesn't have regenerative discharge. What? 1S. It's a little bit confused, I think. Try again. Okay, so we went back to LiPo charge, and that'll charge to 4.2. Well, we have it set to 2.2 amps or whatever. You've got this data section here, which shows you the input voltage once again, so you can see if your power source is struggling. Shows you the output voltage, we know that one. Internal temp, and it'll tell you if the fan's on. You'll hear the fan on. If you don't hear the fan on, something's wrong. Yeah, so it didn't check the internal resistance because it started charging straight away. And we've got 7.8 volts. Or 3.8 volts. 3,851 millivolts, whatever floats your boat. It'll even give you a time versus charge level graph. Which I don't know what you'd use that for. Testing curves, I don't know, something like that. But it's cool. Now if we leave that go, that'll just tick away. Pushing 2.22 amps into this battery until it reaches its 4.2 volts. Nice and safe and shuts off again. So this is only quite small. What have we got for size comparison? Um, AUG 6 amp battery. It's only about 120 mil square or something similar like that. And about 40 mil thing. Big corn fan in the top there. Balance port leads in the bottom corner. Next T60 output. Yeah. That's what you testing the autofocus out. That's what you uh, plan with. It's a power genius. There'll be a link in the video description. This is the T610. Uh, all touch screen, as you can see. Nice, good, bright display. You can run off anything up into the 30 something volt range, 32 volts maybe. Um, yeah, the full details will be on their uh, banggood.com's website. If you're interested in one of these and you buy one, I get a little bit of a kickback, and I thank you for watching. Cheers, guys. I'll uh, look forward to more suggestions for videos. Um, if you want to send them my way, just drop them in the comments below. If you want to see this do something, whatever, let me know. Oh, let me just show you how to... No, I'll make a whole other video on discharging stuff because I don't want to confuse anything. So we'll leave that go. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. New video on discharging later, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks heaps. Bye.